All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be doing a quick PS4 tutorial, and we're going to be talking about how to plug in and utilize a external hard drive to expand your storage on your PS4. So one of the things that happened recently, if I open up my notification settings in my PS4, is recently... Sony released the updated system software to version 4.5, and this has enabled people to plug in a USB 3.0 compatible hard drive, and that will allow you to install applications on an external hard drive up to 8 terabytes in size. I've got a 1 terabyte hard drive that I'm going to be using here today, but all you really need to get this to work is you just need a large external hard drive, up to 8 terabytes, it has some ability to be plugged in via USB 3.0, and then that's all you need. And you also need to have the software update, so if you don't have that, make sure your, your PS4 is hooked up to the internet that you install that. Then, once you've got your hard drive plugged into your PS4, you should get something like this Discover notification that says you can install applications on a USB storage device. Then you can just click on this notification, and you can go to your USB storage devices by clicking the only option available, and then on this little list should be however many devices you've decided to plug into your PS4. And you can do something like plug in a massive, like, thumb drive that's USB 3.0 compatible as well, because all this wants to do is use an XFAT formatted hard drive to store stuff on. So once you find the device in this list that you want to use, I've only got one, it's my little my Passport Western Digital device. I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to say, that's fine, format it as extended storage or as an XFAT drive. So I'll click on yes, and it'll say you can install applications on the extended storage, but do note that all your saved data, screenshots, and video clips will be saved on the system-only storage inside of the PS4. And then, of course, it will warn you that when a hard drive gets formatted, all the existing data on it will be deleted. So if there's something on the hard drive that you're about to use for the PS4, unplug it, plug it back into your computer, pull it off onto your computer so that you don't lose it, then plug it back into the PS4 and say, yes, it's okay to format, my drive has nothing important left on it. So once again, make sure that there's nothing on your drive that you want to keep before hitting the format button. Once you're happy with it, just click format, and it'll take just a small amount of time, and it'll want one more confirmation that you do want to continue. I'm gonna say yes. That'll quickly format this. It should only take like a couple moments, a couple minutes at most. And then after that, you're ready to get rolling, and it'll say this device has been formatted and you're ready to go. You can click OK, and it'll actually give you a running list of all the devices plugged into your PS4, and you can actually go through and stop using them at any given time, and then it'll stop having that little green light on it to say that this is an inactive storage device, and at any time you can re-enable the storage to use them however you like. And it looks like you can even manage the content that's stored on here. Um, you can see the extended storage right here, and everything that's being installed on it, and how much space is being used, versus all the space being used on your system storage. Now, if for whatever reason you don't get this notification here in your notifications panel, you should be able to just go into your settings and go down to storage, and you should be able to find the device that you plugged into your PS4 in this menu right here. And you can even hit options in order to access other options like change your application install location. And you know what? I think I might actually leave this plugged in to my... PS4 because I'm not really using this hard drive for anything anymore and I have like I think seven big external hard drives that I can use for just about anything. So that's it for this one ladies and gentlemen. This is how you plug in external storage setup. for your PS4. I've been your host Larry or you can now see my or my regular um, off stage name Chad and uh, if you have any questions throw those into the comment section below and otherwise that's it for this one. Have a good one, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and bye.